But five today, breaking news from Alaska. The White House says another high altitude object has been shot down. The Pentagon says that object was flying at 40,000 feet. But they say it wasn't as sophisticated as the Chinese spy balloon that was shot down off South Carolina. Our DC Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House where we are now getting reaction from the president. Ben. Calvin, the White House said this object did pose a threat. They had been tracking it since last night, and an F-22 shot it down at 1.45 this afternoon. Yes, the president absolutely was involved in this decision. He ordered it. Order downing another high-altitude object, this time over Alaska. Do you have anything to say about the object shot down over Alaska, Mr. President? Pilots got a close look at the unknown flying object Friday afternoon and determined it was unmanned traveling 40,000 feet, which did pose a threat to air traffic in the area. Civilian aircraft operate, you know, at a, at a variety of ranges up to 40 to 45,000 feet. So again, there was a reasonable concern that this could present a uh, present uh, a threat to or a potential hazard to civilian air traffic. It comes after a Chinese spy balloon was shot down off the coast of South Carolina last weekend. Investigators now concluding that China's balloon seen over the country's Midwest was used for intelligence surveillance, saying it was equipped with multiple antennas that are capable of collecting communications. That refutes China's claim that it was a civilian weather balloon that had simply strayed off course. The Pentagon did acknowledge that it took longer than people may have wanted for that balloon to be shot down down, but they wanted to wait until it was over open water so civilians did not get hurt from debris on the ground. And today's object did have an unknown origin. It is not clear exactly who owns it. It was shot down over ice, so it will be, quite frankly, easier to recover. Calvin, Nicole. And, and Ben, what are the differences between this and the Chinese spy balloon from this weekend? Well, Calvin, first, one of the big differences is the shape. The object shot down is roughly the size of a car. The Chinese spy balloon is three school buses, so much larger. Also, the object was flying at 40,000 feet in the air. The China spy balloon was at 60,000 feet. And we will, of course, learn more details once that object, which again is not being called a balloon, is recovered. Okay, we are following closely. Thank you, Ben.